Nat, Nat 20. 20. Welcome back to Nat 20. In our last episode, the characters made it to Steel Speed and found out that they need 500 gold pieces worth of diamonds in order to revive the dead prince who I killed two episodes ago. And uh, now they are heading to the exchange in order to try to find a way to uh, get some diamonds. So I will start with uh, Lazarus, Farron, and Blaze. So uh, your cart and you have made made it to the exchange. So you're now in front of a building that has... It's a really large building and it's got intricate designs on like the outside walls and it's got a nicely designed roof and uh, there's a sign hanging above the doll above the door that says the exchange in golden letters and it has really intricate carvings all around it as well as uh, images of diamonds and rubies and other jewels and stuff like that. Hmm, something tells me that's the exchange. <laughs> what gives you that idea? The sign that <laughs> says the exchange. <sighs> <laughs> Uh, I will rush inside. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you open the door and go inside, and inside it gets a one huge room. There are like about twenty different kiosks, each with lines of about twenty people in it, in them. Even though it's like super early in the morning, like probably four a.m. <laughs> and uh, each of the kiosks has a different symbol or like a jewel on a sign on top of it. And there are probably around, there's a, probably around like 50 other people just walking around doing other stuff. We should find the diamond uh, symbol. Who wants 500 gold? We have, di we want diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> I just start shouting. That's how you get robbed. Yeah. <laughs> we have money. <laughs> uh, we need diamonds. Can you do a perception check? That is a 22. Uh, you don't really notice anything out of the ordinary right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but you do see that, you do see that the kiosk with diamonds is at the far back. Okay. I want to start running towards it. I will <laughs> follow in pace. Okay, uh, you reach the kiosk and... Uh, well, as you're going there, roll another perception check, please. That is an 18. 18. 16. You could, too, if you wanted. <laughs> Four. <laughs> I was with the damn... I'm still at the wagon area. Big rolls. Where's the exchange? <laughs> I'm with the friends the whole time. <laughs> so, Lazarus and Blaze, you see... Around in at one corner of the room, kind of almost kind of hiding in the corner in the shade. There's a halfling just crouched and trying to make himself look like as unseen as possible. As you're making your way towards the diamond kiosk, keep an eye on that one. He's a shifty fellow. As suspicious as he appears, we have pressing matters <laughs> to attend to, uh, and I'm going to approach the uh, the. Uh, Kiosk with diamonds. Okay. Uh, there is a line, but I'll just say the line goes I, through time and then. No, I just, <laughs> I just bud through everyone. I'm like, excuse me, excuse me, I have a dead kid to deal with. Get out of the way, out of the way. Excuse me. Yes, I know, quite rude. <laughs> I'll follow him while also keeping a close eye on the halfling. Okay. Wait your turn. <laughs> uh, as you're pushing them, like you're. At Pushing through the line, They're, a lot of them are getting pissed at you and just yelling obscenities at you and trying to push back and trying to get back in front of you. Nope, nope, I'm first. <laughs> <laughs> Please go away. <laughs> this is a serious matter. And then one of them who was in line that you push, you kind of push him, but he doesn't actually move. And you look up and you see it's a Goliath. Jesus. Hey! He is about like, <laughs> Seven and a half feet tall and like three hundred pounds. Oh, you're a big fella. Um, <laughs> I'll take a step back as soon as you put it. <laughs> Listen, my son died. Um, 
is it cool if I just squeeze right? And I start, like, squeezing in front of him, just right he here. He kind of just puts his arm out and, like, doesn't allow you to push back and he's like, Excuse me. There is a line. <laughs> <laughs> that is very sweet to you, but, uh... <laughs> good Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Respect the rules. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I just... I, I'm kind of in a rush. We're all in a rush to do something here. Oh, so your kid died too, did he? We all are have our own reasons for being here. Is George a dead kid who only has so much time? Maybe, for maybe not. Listen, I don't think you're, you're getting me here, pal. Uh, <laughs> I feel like this is a fight that you should not It's take. time to move aside! <laughs> and, and, like, you, uh, then the guy who's in front of which is a gnome, kind of is like, What's this dude doing? <laughs> and then he sees what you're trying to do and pushes and tries to push and push you. <laughs> no, listen here, people. <laughs> <laughs> I push the gnome back. Okay, uh, roll a strength check, please. Are they actually going to get in a fight with these people online? I rolled a uh, 19. You push him and uh, <laughs> stumbles so hard and he like trips and falls and stumbles until like he's almost to the wall. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with the tabaxi. <laughs> uh, but I, uh, I'll take the gnome spot in line. Okay. <laughs> no, that's how it works. Yeah. No, the guy that's still in front of you. Oh, you know what? Fine, you go first. <laughs> Whatever. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Just be quick about it. Yeah, so there are a few more people ahead, and the, uh, people just do their thing, and then eventually it's your turn, and in the kiosk there's a... So wait, the Goliath just was like, yeah, you can't butt ahead of me, but everyone else is fine. So you just stand right behind and okay. <laughs> Lawful neutral Goliath. All I, all I can picture now is like, I'm waiting in line by this Goliath, and there's like that one old lady who's like, oh, I'm just pulling out. Do we do this change? Or, uh, or like getting a phone call in the middle of the thing, like, hello. You should befriend the Goliath, and we'll have him in our party. No. <laughs> yes. Goliath was mean to me. But, but yeah, I'll make small talk while we wait. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, like put some pressure on with, you. With the guy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh rudeness aside, how how you doing? <laughs> Not so good really. What's wrong, man? Tell me about it. <laughs> My best friend, he just he was ju- <clears throat> he just uh some thief just stole about two hundred gold pieces from him. As well as some Really, really old family heirlooms. Oh, that's a shame. And I'm trying to be able to get money to help them get them back, or replace them, or find them. My condolences. Thank you. Your friend smells like a you sounds have, like a swell guy. You said you have a dead kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't want to sound rude, but one of these sounds more important than the other. <laughs> you know what? Go ahead of me. <laughs> oh, you're 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 a true gentleman. Yeah. And then it's your turn, and then you get to the head of the kiosk, and inside there's uh, uh, there's a really he looks like a really old elf with like a white uh white wispy hair that flows down to his shoulders, and like no facial hair, uh, bright green eyes. And, uh, really fancy, like, looking clothes. And she says, how can I help you? I have 500 gold pieces, and I need them squished and molded into diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> That's how this works. Isn't it? That's not how this works. Either way, I, you can turn that bag of money into diamonds, right? I get diamonds. This right? is an exchange, not a forge. I don't know how this money shit works. Math <laughs> <laughs> <Found> isn't real. <laughs> Well, no. Uh, yes, I would like diamonds, please. 500 gold pieces worth of diamonds. Do you have 500 gold pieces here? Yeah. Is there actually 500 gold pieces? Oh, yeah, like yeah. All together? The, with, how much uh, from Carl? Carl? I have 250 from him, yeah. You have 250 from him? I had yeah. 220. And I have 25. Boom. I had 145. Okay. Well, we don't need yours, then. We can just use mine, his, and... <laughs> you still have the money. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. But yeah, we have... I set down 500 gold pieces. Okay, uh, <laughs> he'll be like, 
I'll need a, a name. Ah. Uh, wrong. Yeah, Kaka Carl. <laughs> you don't look like Kaka Carl. Oh, you know Kaka Carl? I do. I mean, I'm Kaka Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I don't know. I was going to lie. Uh, my name's Blaze. Thank you, Blaze. No worries. And he kind of just rolls his eyes. It's rude. <laughs> you just tried to lie to him. <laughs> <clears throat> May I ask what this is for? Oh, you know, business investments. I turn the glass. But it's really my dead set. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, since the man is really old, he doesn't do that. <laughs> And then he seems piqued by your, like, it piques his interest. He's saying it's for business pet and shit. He says, what kind of business? Uh, art. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm starting an art business. I paint. I've never seen you around here. I'm new. That's why I'm starting a business. <laughs> Where'd you get all these funds from? The money? <laughs> oh, from my, uh, we're adventurers. We're adventurers, yeah. <laughs> this, we're starting to get too old for this business, so we decided. How to dare you! <laughs> I'm only 26! <laughs> That's just rude. Quit while you're ahead. You know alright, alright. Look, there's no need to lie to this guy. You guys are doing just fine. My name is, is Shavid Da. Oh, that's, that's a cool oh, name. Shit. Uh, the important part is, we're not here to, like, mess with your business. I just want to sell art, but I need money <laughs> to make art, if that makes sense. <laughs> Can I have my diamonds now, please? Sure. And he, like, goes, uh, behind the counter of the kiosk, or, like, behind a wall in the kiosk, picks up, picks some stuff up, and gives you a bag. Uh, as you look in, you see lots of listening diamonds. In it. Would it be okay if I count it? <laughs> <laughs> that I isn't it. real. <laughs> no, I set it down and I said, "Like, I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to count for." Uh, of well, you know, money's money's of a fickle course. thing. Yeah. Of course. Can I also look to see if any of them are counterfeit? Yeah, sure. Uh, roll investigation or history. Oh, yes. I have a plus eight in history. What? I rolled a 26. You have a yeah, plus they, what? They all look plus like eight. actual diamonds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, they all look like pristine, like, diamonds. You have plus eight. I'm double proficient in history. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. It's for my character. That's really know. lame. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. No, that's awesome. And I will go to you two, uh, Ryan and Allendahl. So by now you guys have walked through, walked or ran through the streets and have now made it to the front door of the exchange. Sweet. I bet this is the exchange. It looks that way. <laughs> 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 Go ahead um, steal my bit, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess we'll just like walk in. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Faron, were you staying outside here? I was like, the horses are going. Oh, so I, oh, you stayed behind. Oh, yeah, you I stayed, stayed behind. Stayed with so I guess we would, oh, okay. we would see no, him no. at the cart. Or? We left the. We didn't take the dead prince with us. Oh. We left him at the <laughs> healer's place. Yeah, with oh, the that's right. Carl. Sorry, you know, I thought, I thought. <laughs> so everyone so staying with Kaki Carl, Lawrence, and dead the uh, uh, revival lady, resurrection lady. I can't think of the word I'm looking for. Oh no, wait, that's right. They took the prince. I'm just with the wagon then. Oh, okay, so I, mean. I thought you were cool. still in the way. You also see yeah, that's Baron what I thought. Uh, outside okay. at the wagon. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I say to Ryan like uh, quietly enough that he can't hear. I say, "Oh, it's it's Farron." <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, what are the chances of that? <laughs> we may as well meet up with him. Maybe he can tell us where the other two are. Yeah. yeah, I'm just leaning up against the okay. side of the wagon. All right, so we approach Farron, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Hey, Farron. Oh, uh, <laughs> how did your saving turn out? <laughs> we got thirteen gold pieces worth of diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> we have extra to sell for money, I guess. The other two right. are in there right now, getting the rest of the diamonds. Jolly good. I guess we'll go in after them. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to do so. Okay. I'll just be out here watching the wagon. All right. All right. 
Don't uh, take anyone's gold while you're standing out here. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> I walk off into the shade. <laughs> wow, apparently your character is super judgmental. <laughs> Uh, so you guys enter the exchange room, do you see, like, it's a huge, one huge room, and you see a bunch of kiosks, each with, like, a different symbol, or, uh, like, mineral, or jewel on top of the signs, and lots of people lined up in front of them, and lots of people just walking around, talking to each other, doing stuff like that. And do a perception check, please. Take a guess what sign we're at. Sixteen. Uh, ten. Nice. Okay, uh, you see these two, uh, way at the back. Nice. At the front of one of the kiosks, <clears throat> which has a diamond on it. Well, do we, do we see me exchanging mo- money or fighting with a Goliath and a gnome? Uh, they, you're, like, at the front, so you're talking with, oh, okay. uh, Travid Daw. Alright, well, I guess, I guess we're gonna go catch up. Alright. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you make your way, and uh, almost right as soon as you get to where these two are, uh, you have gotten your diamonds and are ready to leave. Oh! Jolly good. Hello, friends. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I turn to Shabadaw. Uh, pleasure doing business! And uh, and then I leave. <laughs> we were warned by the other deep gnomes not to talk to this guy, so I'm going to take my diamonds and go. Uh, you And as you're walking away, he says, if you ever want to make a deal on in the art trade with me, make sure to come here. You know what? I'll think about that one. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a great resource for those who are starting their business. Okay. Good to know. Would we know that that is... Um, uh, no, I don't from, think so. No. Well, uh, neither of you are from Soul Speed. Yeah, so we wouldn't recognize them or yeah, anything. Probably no. Not. no, I'm gonna I'm gonna take out my notebook and I'll start writing. Like, here you go, putting your name in here in the book of important things. I'll remember this one. I'll just go and write my bag where I keep all my important stuff. See you, <laughs> and then I'll walk away. I'll talk to the party and say we should leave this place quickly. Yeah, there's a dead kid. <laughs> yeah. Did you get the diamonds? Yes. Yes. All right, let's go then. Also, when you were uh, exchanging the gold for diamonds, you realized you lost about 15 gold pieces. Ow. I only gave him 500. Yeah, I know, but while you're walking. Oh. Your line. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's whatever. And <laughs> I assumed that at one point someone stole from you. While oh, you were in the exchange. The, the halfling we ignored. <laughs> oh, can I see the halfling? Uh, yeah, the half. As you look, the halfling is still where he is. Uh, nah, it's not important to me. It's just money. Uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna head back to the cart. I wanna okay. go save my son. Yeah, yeah and you I see guess. these two approach you, too. Yeah. Hello! <laughs> where have you guys been? You jumped out of the cart? <laughs> that was not practical. <laughs> I jumped twice out of the cart, actually. <laughs> tried once. I yeah, I'm getting the feeling you're not a very practical man, but that's fine. The second time I pulled him out of the cart, so... <laughs> well, who knows what that deep gnome could have offered us. Probably nothing. <laughs> I guess no. we'll never find out, will we? <laughs> it's not really important, because uh, I got the diamonds. Woo, go me. Oh, what, what are we waiting for, then? Let's get out of here. That's what I said. Uh, let's make haste. We have a dead kid that needs saving. Also, I've been robbed. Yes, <laughs> we don't have time for that. You're right. <laughs> it's just funny because this lady's getting mugged. Like, Let's go help her. And he's like, I've been robbed. And we're like, we don't have time. <laughs> well, her life was in danger. He's just a yeah, taxi uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Couple of heroes, um, but no, I'll leave. Hey, um, we saved her life, so yeah. yeah. No, I'm gonna head to the car. I'm gonna jump in, and I'll be like, onward. <laughs> The rest of us also jump in the crowd. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I see them approach. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right, yeah, let's just get back to the healer's place as quickly as possible. On dancer. On yeah, dancer. so uh, you take the cart and make it to the healer's place. It takes about 20 minutes to get there just because people are starting to come out of uh, their houses now and it's starting to get busier. But you make it to the healer's house again. Okay. And you see Kaka Carl 
uh, just waiting at the door, and he's like, Hoodoo, come on, come on, quick, 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 come, Hoodoo, come, quick, you, we need to revive him, quick, now, quick, come on, and he's like trying to usher you through the door as quick as possible. Yes. I hop off the wagon and casually walk past <laughs> Yes, yes, keep your pants on. <laughs> you suggested that we do some quests to find some diamonds. <laughs> we didn't have time for that. Yeah, you said to look for a bounty quest. That'd take three days. <laughs> Dude, well, I didn't know if we had the funds for it at the moment. You had 250 gold pieces, my man. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, and we needed 500, too, too, but I didn't know if we had 500 all together. Alright, alright, walk Turns around to the bridge. Like... Let's just get inside and heal this kid. <laughs> yes, 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 please, please. So, before I go inside, I'm going to look around and see if there is like anyone suspicion. Suspicious that seems to be watching us. Okay, uh, roll investigation. <laughs> Shit. I got a five. Uh, no, you, you don't notice anything out of the ordinary. All you see is a couple of people just walking past on the road. <clears throat> yeah. I, uh, I quickly make haste and go inside. Okay. Uh, so you go inside, you, uh, see this woman again who is named Isadora. And she says, do you have the diamonds? You yes! Have the diamonds, right? Yes! And I, 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 I pour, pour them into her hands. Okay, great, great, great. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, uh, <laughs> fall over the floor. And then the she'll like, start to cast uh, a spell and do an arcana check, please. Oh, dude, that's great. I'm plus six. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Ten. Are you kidding me? Eleven. Thirteen. Oh, nine. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Shut up, okay? <laughs> How many character sheets have I given you? <laughs> Just, you know what? Five. <laughs> I'm supposed to be good at that, too. Uh, Ryan, since you're a cleric, yeah. you would have advantage. Oh, like we're sweet. Nice uh, yeah, Thirteen again. again, so whatever. Do you uh, have a bonus? No, it's plus zero. <clears throat> Ryan, you, you do believe this is the raised dead spell. And as she's casting it, uh, she tries to cast it for about a minute, but nothing happens, and she's like, she looks at the diamonds. It's like, how long ago did you get these diamonds? Like, like, 23 minutes ago. Okay. Uh, this is not enough diamonds. <laughs> I counted that shit. <laughs> yeah, <I'm not> <laughs> I understand that, but the exchange, well, it's shitty. Nice. Sometimes, All right, well, I they have, got sometimes the cost of diamonds goes up, sometimes it goes down. I have an extra 30 gold worth of diamond right here. <laughs> oh, bless you. Uh, <laughs> that will not be enough still. You still need you still need about 25 diamonds or gold worth of diamonds. Uh, should we quickly head back? Does anyone have any gold? Well, we shouldn't have spent all our money yet. Yeah, we all. I'm pretty sure we no, all No, we gold. spent 500, so you're 200. Yeah. Carl's 250. Yeah. Uh, no, you're 225. I'm 225. Yeah, his 250 and my 25. You still have your whole 100. Yeah, I still have 145 gold yeah. pieces. Yeah, so we'll just run back. And we also have 20 gold pieces from that band that we need. Yeah, that we. Yeah, so if we run back really quick. It's going uh, to take another mm. hour. Uh, if we take another about tw- <laughs> 29 minutes or so, will the kid die forever? They're or? in back. It's going to take a while. It's going to be an hour. <laughs> uh, about an hour, actually. Will he die? No. Uh, to cast the spell, uh, the kid just has... Uh, the person just can't be dead for more than 24 hours. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. Come on, let's go, guys. But the sooner, the better. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll head back out to the cart. Okay. Yeah. I run out to the cart as well. Hey, this trip's been a real big investment. <laughs> I uh, I hop into the <clears throat> the driver's seat, quote unquote, okay. and um, take hold. I'll follow too. Hey, yeah, are, ride it. are all of you going back to the exchange? Yeah. Hey, okay. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Kirk, Carl, do you want to you want to come this one? <laughs> no, I'll I'll stay here with the kid. Just make sure that no one comes in. Okay. Please. Please Here. mention that you met a shadow dog. <laughs> I will hang outside the building All right, and just well, kind of watch. Okay. I feel like... Watch and just watch. <laughs> right. any, any suspicious activity. Uh, roll investigation. Okay. I feel like Blaze and I should not buy the diamonds this time. <sighs> we encountered shadow dog and he might become suspicious. Uh, ten. Yeah, you don't know it's anything suspicious. Shavada. Isn't that... Isn't he that evil crime lord? 
That is what I've heard. Yeah, but he's a really nice guy. If we know where he is, I mean, I, we have to obviously take care of the kid first, but that should be our second priority. But he's really nice. He's going to help me out with my art business. <laughs> what? Just <laughs> 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 You don't have an art business, place. I'm an actual painter. Maybe I should start an art business. All right, um, let's just go. We don't have time. We're still <laughs> riding. I th- okay. There we go. I was going to say, <laughs> we're probably talking about this. Um, yeah, well, I get, oh, yeah, and I yeah, yeah. whip the horses and yeah. we go on. Uh, so, yeah, you get back to the exchange. Um, I casually pull up and drift a little. And then um, <laughs> we come Skits to a full stop. <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> uh... I'll remain here so as not to draw unwanted attention. Would Shabadah have seen uh, Aelrindel and me? Uh, probably he, not. He's an old he guy. Might have got a glimpse of anything. But. Do an insight check. 11. 24. Uh, Ryan, you believe there's a good chance he might recognize you. Just because if he's a crime lord, then he probably cool. pays a lot of attention. Yep, that's true. Um, we don't have any rogues, I guess, so... Oh. Farron. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's, um, Farron, maybe. He's not here. Did he stayed back. Did he stay in there? Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's staying. Keep an eye on the... Oh, oh well, I'm just moving them a little closer. <laughs> um, I feel like the table moved away a little bit. Where's um, that damned guy when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, since I am suspicious, I will do my best to um make, make, make sure that he doesn't recognize me the second time, because... Sounds like he's a pretty bad dude, so I'm just going to take off all my armor and leave it in the cart and leave my shield and stuff. Um, And my also super fancy battle hammer, which is probably pretty... uh, Epic. So you're (laughs) disrobing and disarming yourself? Not disrobing, taking my armor off. Oh. Um, More your clothes beneath it. You should pick up some, like, dirt and put it on your face. (laughs) (laughs) Brian, do do you think I should go... With you and stand by you, or do you think I should watch from a distance and uh, kind of keep an eye from afar? It's up to you. It might be best that you remain out here, though. That's fair. Um, I just want to make sure nothing happens to you or anyone else in the group. Uh, you don't have to worry about me. All right, I guess I'll stay at the cart. Okay. Going in well, alone might be a death sentence, though. Yeah, actually, no. I would I would definitely go <laughs> in. Never mind. No man gets left behind. Okay. All right. Fine by me. Whatever. Uh, you go into the exchange and, like, same as before, it's a little bit more busy now because it's been another, like, 40 minutes or so. And, uh, roll perception as you're walking through. Eight. Uh, seven. Six. Yeah, you don't notice something out of the ordinary here. And you make it to the stall at the back for diamonds and there's a line. Um, so. <laughs> They're gonna get robbed. Before we get close to the back, um, yeah. I go over to a booth that's near the diamonds one and stand in line there and okay. just pretend like as I'm going to buy something there, but like casually, um, keeping an eye on him and like, um, the line and stuff. Okay. So. Yeah. So eventually the line moves up and, uh, now it is your turn to All right. talk to him. All right. I just walk up and I'm like, hello, I need, a." Uh, Fifty gold pieces worth of diamond. Says, please. Where do your friends go? Sorry, did you want me to like roll stealth? I'm just like trying to like stay hidden from uh, yeah, mine, so, probably. Yeah. Okay, that's a solid five. Yeah, you're you're pretty. Uh, it's pretty easy Subtle. to notice you. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. I mean, I'm also just a guy standing in line, but... Anyway. All right. And then Shabbat will also say, and your other friend just finds some emeralds over there, I see. Yeah, I don't really know what he's doing. <laughs> he just left me early on. So not enough diamonds? Not enough diamonds, no. Fair enough. How much do you need? 50 gold pieces worth, at least. At least. So yes. do you want more, or...? No, I just I just want to make sure this time. 50 gold pieces worth, please. Okay. And he'll say, sure thing. Your friend will need a lot in order to get into the art business. <laughs> <laughs> Would I know what he's talking about? Uh, roll we, inside. He, we sort of talked about it, but yeah. Oh, eight. Uh, the only thing he <clears throat> noticed is he 
kind of puts emphasis on art. Mm -hmm. Like, he knows it's not for art. Mm -hmm. That's fine. <laughs> and then he'll uh, grab the diamonds for you and give them to you. Cool. All right. And uh, since I'm a dwarf and, like, blacksmith background, but I yeah. know, like, can I check and make sure that there's 50 gold pieces? Yeah, you'll have an advantage. advantage. Yeah. Okay, what do you want me to do? Uh, think investigation. 18. Yeah, uh, you realize that is approximately, like, pretty, almost dead on 50 gold okay. pieces worth of diamonds. Perfect, thank you very much. Nice doing business with you. Yeah, if you need more, to do more business, come here. I've always got stuff I need done. Alright, thank you. Shave a and then I turn and walk away. Thank you. Even though he didn't say his name. <laughs> <laughs> he, knew, he knew who I was, so it doesn't matter if I let him know I know who he is. As um, and he doesn't look surprised at all when you name drop him. And when you walk away, <laughs> and when you walk off, he stares at you and nods in grudging respect. <laughs> and cool. Licks his lips. <laughs> that Ryan guy knew my name. <laughs> um, as you walk off, I casually slip out of the line. For emeralds. Casually. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to buy emeralds. <laughs> and I meet up with you, well, and I'm like, "Oh, line's too long. How did it go?" I got the diamonds, let's get out of here. And I'll go back to you, Farron. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've just still been leaning up against them. Yeah, so you're just, like, keeping watch, trying to see if there's anything trading going yeah, on. Yeah, waiting for them to return. Okay. Roll for leaning. <laughs> uh, roll another investigation, please. How <laughs> cool do you look? <laughs> I'm pretty cool. Uh, uh, 11. Eleven? Huh. Uh, since you've been watching for quite a while, you do notice... There's a person kind of leaning around one of the uh, corner of one of the next houses. Leaning like this up? Side. Yeah. Okay. Uh, suspicious leaner. Suspicious leaner. Where would that make you? Alright, I'm going to keep an eye on him now. Okay. Nonchalantly, though. Yeah. Especially looking over every now and then. <laughs> yeah, every so often you, act, you do notice that he is kind of keeping watch on the house and you as well. Mm, interesting. Uh, yeah, I will do nothing for now, but okay. pay attention. Uh, I will go back to you guys then. Uh, you guys are leaving the exchange. Yeah, so we approach the the wagon. Okay. Stand up really tall and I wave. We're like, oh, <laughs> oh, did you get them? Did you get the diamonds? <laughs> Subtle. <laughs> I we got them, but I wait until like getting close to them before saying that because I don't want to advertise the fact that we just <laughs> have a bunch of diamonds now. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, no, nothing else happens. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Wow, awesome. <laughs> Jovial. Um, right, let's, let's be onward. Let's get back to the house. Whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, I guess we'll just all climb in the cart yeah. and take off. And as we're going, I'll put my armor back on because what a freaking waste of time that was. Yeah. <laughs> you, you will you will find me holding up some of your armor, taking notes, and drawing pictures of it. That's fine. <laughs> I. I'm pretty used to your eccentricities by now. <laughs> I'll take a look around all the streets as we're going back to. Hey, just roll perception. Watching. Please don't make me fight with my armor half on. I'm just driving. I got a 15. Hey, uh. Or five. <laughs> <laughs> if you your dice wasn't there, would catch him on. Yeah, that's true. You notice every few streets there are people. Every once in a while you see someone just leaning against the building and kind of just watching. Like watching anything that happens. <laughs> Creepy town. <laughs> and you see one guy put a rock like device up to his ear, say something, and then just put it back. I do believe that we're being watched. It's not much of a surprise, I guess. <laughs> Dealing with the biggest crime lords in the city. And we have the, the prince. <laughs> <laughs> so it's to be expected that someone would know. Perhaps I, we should just play it safe for now, though. Don't I, start anything. Yeah. I say best bet, uh, we should go back, get the diamonds, um, to K -K -K Carl, and, uh, get the prince alive, and, uh, if anyone attacks or is doing anything, where we can investigate then. But our priority should be getting these back. As long as that kid's alive. Well, he's dead right now, but... <laughs> That's what I mean. After <laughs> he's alive, then we can worry about everything else. Right so and we we keep going. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you guys make it back to the building and go back inside with the diamonds, and uh, you're giving the diamonds to Dora. So she says, 
this is enough. She starts casting the spell and says, and gives you a thumbs up and tells you, this is going to take about an hour. Uh, you're free to stay here while all this is happening. You're free to sit in the waiting room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a the door. I thought you should know there's a suspicious man in the house next to us. He keeps looking over every now and then. What does he look like? What and did he look like? Yeah. Like? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you notice it was a tiefling. Uh, he had uh, purple horns and like purple skin, as well as a handlebar mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It was a purple skinned horned man with a strange mustache. Well, that's my ex husband. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind him, he's just my neighbor. <laughs> he's still better. <laughs> there's there's almost always people watching in still speed. A lot of the time it is Shabbat Dawes men. He tries to keep an eye out for everything that happens in the city. Things really change when you're gone for about sixteen years. Do you think they know about the prince? Uh there's a chance. They at least know what we're doing. Yeah, they know that you brought a lot a lot of diamonds. Yeah, I guess that would arise some suspicion. Does this place have windows? Yeah, it does. So as they're doing that, I'm just going to be, like, looking through the drapes on one of the windows, keep my eye on the street. Okay. Maybe they'll think we're just doing a lavish redecoration. That's why we brought all those diamonds. Isadora will say, every so often people do to come here for me to revive people. So it, it's like kind of normal for people to bring lost diamonds here, but that's all. The only thing is someone may have seen the prince, like you're lucky you came here really late at night because not a lot of people would have seen, but there might be some people who saw. Should we expect trouble? Uh, I don't think we caused any real issues at the exchange. Yeah, as long as you haven't caused issues and where it should be fine. Me well, and that Goliath I... made up really quick, so... Um... <laughs> well, when Ryan and I went, it went pretty well. I I stayed hidden in a, <laughs> in a line and watched over and... <laughs> oh, yeah. No, he knew you were there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> um, Couldn't just let him have that one here, Ryan. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, but I think it went okay, but he knew that we came back. So, something's up. We should definitely exercise caution with this. Oh, uh, do you guys actually know who Shabbat Da is? Yeah, I know who he is from what. Uh, oh, okay, I know about him. He's nuts. He's he'd be the gnome guy. I think it's a deep gnome. Research and yeah, uh, yeah. Like, he told gnomes to us about him, and then like I'm from Stillsby, yeah. so. Uh, how long do you think you would have been in Stillsby for fair? Like before this quest, mm-hmm. maybe like a month. Month. Okay. Uh, roll a history check then. And you can do that too? Yeah, well, I grew up there, yeah. so. I rolled a 24. Uh, 14. Uh, yeah, you, pre- uh, Baron, you pretty much recount what the Deep Gnomes told you, and you know that he is a really shady guy. And you would assume that he has, he has bribed a lot of people and is, and stuff like that. And, uh, Blaze? You know that he is the great 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 grandson of the person who created the raised dead spell and re- true resurrection spell, and that he is one of the richest men in the city. As well, you know that he is one of the main guys behind the black market, the one of them who actually created it, and started it here in Silsby. He's got a, uh, he's got a big, you know, long. History of uh, swindling uh, innocent folk, but uh, we have the diamonds we need, and I don't believe if we don't start anything, I don't think he has any reason to really mess with us, unless he knows about the prince. But there's a good chance he didn't see the prince, and uh, I don't know. I, obviously, we should proceed with caution. This guy isn't exactly what you'd call a saint, so yes, Sheva does a crafty fellow. Yeah, most definitely. If he's got men all around the city, well, then we best be careful. And because... there's a good chance we may not want to cross paths. You know, he's uh, relative to some pretty impressive spellcasters. What does that mean? That means he might know some magic we don't want to mess with. 
That's what that means. <laughs> Good chance for you to give some exposition specifically about the raised dead and whatever spells, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, he knows <laughs> about the raised dead and true resurrection spells. He's related to people who invented them. It's pretty heavy more. stuff, man. Interesting. It's a lot more important than we thought. I mean, maybe we should have just asked him, but... Uh. <laughs> this would have been useful to know going in and... Why? So we can tell, get the shady dude we know who's probably not friendly to revive the prince who we're trying to keep a secret? I don't see the logic there. Could have saved us a, sec- a second trip if he gave us the right amount of diamonds. I thought we were trying to keep things a secret, so I didn't go out of my way to make I us agree. look even Shabadosh more suspicious. Not know about the prince. I think it's better to not in his debt, really. Also, oh, he knows that you're not starting an art business. Yeah. Oh, he probably knows that. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been thinking about it, and it might actually be a good investment on my part. <laughs> um, Perindel doesn't say anything, but he doesn't believe that's, that is a good idea for him to do it. <laughs> I'm a, he's a, Blaze is a painter. He does a lot of painting. I'm an actual Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you just wait. You're going to be wild when you see my... Uh, Paintings. <laughs> Painting of dead prints. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, we have an hour to wait, right? Yeah. Well, uh, that's is what... there anything specific you guys want to do during this hour? Yeah. I'm going to paint. <laughs> I'm going to paint the dead uh, prints. <laughs> I think I'm going to like look through the windows and stuff, like through the like the, the curtains or whatever, um, and just see if anyone's if I can see anyone watching. Um, and yeah, keep an eye out, basically, but not attract too much attention to us. I'm gonna study the spells and doors using. Okay. I'm gonna watch her. Okay. I I think I would as well, because I don't know that spell yet, but I would be interested. Okay. Uh so the two of you are watching at the window straight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh so you notice how will I do this? Uh let's see. So uh Elrendal, you do notice the purple tea flame that Baron was talking about. She's still at the building that he was at before, just kind of looking around and washing. Okay. Um, it, would I, like, is he doing anything uh, out of the ordinary that I notice, or is he, is he just still kind of like, just like looking around and just like standing or leaning there? Uh, you do notice him take a, like, square or rectangular rock out of his pocket, put it to his, like, the side of his face, say something, and then put it back. Okay. Uh, I take note of this. Okay. And, uh, Dazra, uh, you notice, you're, like, looking out the front window, probably, uh, you notice just people walking by, and nothing seems really out of, out of place from that. Okay. And then for Brian and, uh, Farron? Uh, so you know this spell is raised dead, and you believe that it is a pretty high level of spell that you will, neither of you would be able to cast for it quite well. Uh, and you know that it does consume 500 gold pieces worth of diamonds, and it will neutralize any poison and cure any non-magical diseases that affect the creature when it died. That's basically just what he noticed. Not that you were wanting to ask something specifically. No, I was just watching. Uh, so yeah, the hour has passed. Oh, uh, I roll performance, please. This is very important to me. 20. Very 20, but... Uh, you're painting the dead prince. I'm painting the dead prince, uh, <laughs> but in like, I'm gonna call it, uh, the dead prince. And then, um, <laughs> it's just like a... This is a, a nice uh, painting. I'm using mostly dark colors, uh, <laughs> using a uh, flat brush technique, and then uh, just like a, making a somber, somber por- portrait, portraiture of the scene before me with the drape across the floor. Um, the okay. way. Uh, it's a pretty realistic drawing. So I mean, painting. So it looks pretty nice and really captures his deadness. Yeah. Um, Amazing. I mean, is it like the lifelessness in his eyes? I make sure to cast from the drapes a bit of light shining down. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's royalty. Would, so it's like a decent enough painting that if someone saw it, they would recognize that that is the prince. <laughs> so I walk up <laughs> to Blaze yeah. and I say, um, you know we're not supposed to let anyone know about the prince. Him being dead. 
right? What? You thought I was going to go outside and sell this to a random stranger immediately? Yes. Well, what are you going to... You did have plans to start an art business. Yeah, but you got to be a piece of art. Listen, you know nothing about art, my friend. <laughs> All right, so listen here. The, uh, the, you have to create art, collect art, and then you sell the art. Plus, I just painted this. It hasn't even dried yet. Why did you get off my back? <laughs> so, uh, I would hear this all going on, right? Yeah. Okay, so I walk over and I see the painting. And um, it puts the prince in harm's way. Oh, does it? Yes, it does. Right. Um, <laughs> Plus, it's so incriminating yourself. Yeah, also that. <laughs> so... I grab the painting. I'm like, I'm sorry about this friend, and I use no, no, <laughs> no, uh, no, no, um, no, 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 no. I try to steal it back. Let's take it. No way. Uh, You're not doing that. I am. That's so mean. There's no my, way. I 100 percent was joking about him painting the dead prince before I think you could actually do it. The mad lad, sacred flame. No and way. I burn the painting. No, you don't. No. Yes, I do. Uh, is that? Do you have to like roll for that? To see it's, a touch it's, it's a, a, it's it's a touch. It's a touch. Yeah. Okay. So that's a touch. You can touch or you can make a fire blow on Okay, but it's an automatic thing. Uh, it's an automatic that. thing? Uh, it's yeah. up to the DM. If it's in okay. combat, he has to roll to hit. Out of combat, it's up to you if you want him to roll to see if he can touch the painting. I guess, like, I... Oh, that's a dex save and throw for sacred flame. Uh, the, the painting, the painting has to make a dex save. Yeah, I have to save the painting. Uh, Blaze will have to do a dex save and throw hit points. Rolled an 18. What's your save? Uh, 14. Yeah, you just barely dodge out the way of the flame burning the painting. Listen, listen, listen. No one's going to see it. Okay, I worked hard on this. It looks really nice. This is important. I'm not, you're not burning my painting. He's Why did you paint it in the I'm first place? It was a tragic scene. It was foolish. Scene. It was a tragic scene. You know nothing about art, okay? I'm not going to say it. I admit it's a fine painting, anybody. but... It puts all of us in harm's way. I'm gonna keep it in my. I'm gonna keep it in my bag. It's It's no dead royalty. It's not like I'm making a billboard out of it and putting it up. And hey, by the way, there's a prince here. Yeah. Uh, Blaze, um, I understand that art's really important to you. Uh, I paint, Uh, in fact, myself. I don't believe you. I have painting painter supplies. I'm proficient in it. Roll a. Um, uh, But range spell attack. What? (laughs) That's dirty (laughs) twenty. That's that, so yeah, messed up. With a fireball. <laughs> so do you just do this in the middle while they were arguing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You hit it, and like, uh, are are you trying to hit it in a spe- specific place? Because it's like, how big would the painting be? Do you think it's just in my book? Oh, okay. It's literally in my notebook. Yeah, so <laughs> oh, uh, we thought it was. I thought you had like a little like canvas thing, like or like a piece of paper or something. No, what you think? I just carry a canvas. You didn't around? specify no, that. We yeah, thought yeah. you had like. I thought it was obvious. Some <laughs> no, no, I assumed it was. A like canvas. I thought you yeah. had like a little yeah. one or something. <laughs> no. Well, well now my that notebook's on fire. You burn this guy's book? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you burnt my notebook. Because on you were specific on what you were trying to do, you just burned the entire page into just the page just disintegrates. Skills. Wow. Wow. Okay, wow. <laughs> wow. And Hope there, you're really and proud there, of yourself. Like, dark smudges on the two pages before and after now. Really cool, guys. And then really while you're cool. arguing, uh, I go back to his opponent. The prince sits up and is like. <gasps> 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 and that's where we'll, we'll end it for the episode. And we'll go from here next time on Nat 20.